everyone, so this is going to be a quick review and flip through of the Seasons of the Witch Yule Oracle. So here is the box, if you can see that. Um, some of you may kind of recognize it from this deck. I've also done a review on it before, but a lot of you already know about this deck. This is the Seasons of the Witch Silent Oracle. So this is like the Halloween, the really witchy, like Halloween one. And um, they came out with a Yule one as well. So here's the Silent, here's the Yule. And from my knowledge and research that I've come across as of recently, they are actually coming out with a Beltane Seasons of the Witch um, Oracle. I think it's on, it's gonna be on March the 1st of this year. So in a couple months, um, we should have, or a month and a half, I guess, we will have the Seasons of the Witch Beltane Oracle coming out soon. So I've done a review on this one um, on my channel if you want to check that one out. But we're going to get into the Seasons of the Witch Yule Oracle. So like I said, here's the box, the front of it. This one is by Lorraine Anderson and Juliet Diaz. Illustrated by, I'm probably going to butcher this, Giada Rose, I believe is how you say the name. I might have butchered that and I apologize if I did. Um, but here's the back of the box. And you can always pause to kind of read what it says. Um, here's kind of a little sneak peek preview of what the cards look like, which I will show you each individual card. Okay, so there is the box. Here is the guidebook. Um, kind of standard thickness oracle card book. Um, I like these guidebooks though because they are, well they've got really pretty illustrations, but they are in color. If you can check these out, I don't know if you can see them that well. Here's a good example. But they actually have the pictures in color in these um, guidebooks, just like the Seasons of the Witch, the Samhain Oracle, it's the same. So a lot of guidebooks typically are in black and white, um, but these are actually in color, which I really appreciate. Um, I'll let you kind of view the table of contents because people tend to really be interested in that. So here is the start of the table of contents. You can always pause and read because there's kind of a lot to view here. So I think that's it. Yes, and then about the author. So anyways, yeah, guidebook is kind of standard for the most part. Um, so you've got your colored image, your keywords, kind of like a mantra slash quote. And you've got kind of about the card specifically and what's in it and what it represents. And I believe that is about it, yeah. So kind of a generic guidebook, but it's good to still have them just, you know, especially if you're learning. So that's what the guidebook looks like. Now on for the cards. So the cards are really pretty. Lots of dark emerald greens and bright reds. Very Christmassy, very Yule, of course, since it is the Seasons of the Witch Yule Oracle. So I like the backs. You've got the full moon, witch's hands in the four corners, the star. And what's cool about this deck, too, um, just like the Samhain one, the Samhain one has like a red, um, I forget what it's called. Is it gilded? Maybe? Or embossed? Maybe embossed? I forget what it's called. I forget the word, but anyway. Basically, you've got these pretty shimmery edges, kind of like Bible... <laughs> Bible pages in certain Bibles. They have like the gold edge edging around it. Um, but the Samhain one has red, which is really pretty. And then this Yule one has this really pretty flashy emerald city green. <laughs> so it's really pretty. So those are the backs of the cards and the sides. Um, so yeah, let's get into the cards. So let me put these over here. It's been a while since I've done a video, clearly. Okay, so here's the first one. Bear Medicine. I really like that. Okay, and these are kind of, this is the quicker part of it, of course, the flip through, but anyways, you can always pause if you really want to read and look at the cards a bit better. Candle Magic is card number two. Cardinal Medicine. Love the cardinals. The cardinals and the bears. Card four is ceremony. Chill. 
Rose, which is the front of the cover in the guidebook. <laughs> Cold Moon. We've got the wolf and the moon. This can represent both December and January. Wolf Moon, Cold Moon, which is December and January, so it's pretty cool. Contemplation. So you've got the winter aspect, of course, being Yule, and then you've got the kind of starting to, you know, look forward to spring kind of aspect as well. It's very Japanese style looking cards right here. To me anyways. So other people may disagree, that's okay. Um, here's the chrome card. And hopefully you can see these okay. I know there's a little bit of a glare. Darkest Hour. That one's a really cool card. Dove Medicine. Falling in Love. Family. Father Christmas. Feasting. Forest. Frost. Gatherings. Gratitude. Light. Merriment. Mistletoe. Mother Mary. That's a very interesting interpretation of Mother Mary. Offerings. Perseverance. Poinsettia. Reindeer medicine. And 
remembering. Ringing the bells. Self-care. Like that one. And this one, Silent Night. That's a really pretty card. Snow. Solstice. Squirrel medicine. Star. Storm. Telling stories. That's a cool card too. Ooh, I like this one too. <laughs> Tranquility. This kind of aesthetic makes me think of um, Terry Ann Foss on Etsy. She does the earthly. Um, Souls and Spirits uh, Oracle deck and a bunch of artwork, but it's kind of like similar aesthetic. She does typically a silhouette of like witches and she's got the pine trees with the snow and the um, like houses and stuff. So it makes me think of Terry Ann Foss on Etsy. If you've not checked out her artwork, please check it out. Her Oracle card deck, Earthly Souls and Spirits, is awesome. I've had it for several years and I love it. But she's got artwork and then she's got these other like little mini cards too that you can also use as an oracle deck. I've done reviews on all of that, so check it out. Uh, turning inward. The unknown. Wise men. Wreath. That is a pretty card. And the final one, card 44, is Yule Log. I like that one too. And that is the final card of the Seasons of the Witch Your Oracle. Hope you all enjoyed it, and until next time, thanks for watching, guys.